Eric Adams, the 110th mayor of New York City, finds himself in a legal and political maelstrom. Sworn into office on January 1, 2022, Adams now faces a formidable challenge that threatens to derail his agenda and legacy. The federal indictment against him, unveiled on September 27, 2024, sends shockwaves through the city's political landscape. The charges against the mayor range from bribery and conspiracy to wire fraud and soliciting illicit campaign contributions. Adams' journey from a transit police officer to Brooklyn Borough President and ultimately to the mayor's office has been marked by both triumphs and controversies. Now, with the weight of federal charges bearing down on him, Adams must navigate the treacherous waters of the legal system while attempting to maintain his grip on the city's reins. The indictment represents a dramatic turn of events for a mayor who just recently seemed to be consolidating his power and influence. The coming weeks and months will be crucial in determining the outcome of this legal battle and its impact on the city's trajectory. The federal indictment paints a grim picture of alleged corruption and abuse of power within the mayor's inner circle. Adams is accused of accepting lavish gifts and benefits from wealthy donors in exchange for favorable treatment and access to city resources. These alleged benefits include luxury vacations, private jet travel, and expensive accommodations. The charges of bribery and conspiracy center around allegations that Adams solicited and accepted bribes from real estate developers and other business interests. Prosecutors claim that Adams used his influence to steer city contracts towards these donors, bypassing established procedures. These accusations, if true, would represent a blatant misuse of taxpayer money and a flagrant violation of the public trust. The 45-page indictment, unsealed on September 27, 2024, meticulously details the alleged schemes and transactions involving Mayor Adams and his associates. The document outlines specific instances of bribery, conspiracy, and fraud, allegedly spanning several years. One specific instance involves a luxury vacation to the Caribbean, allegedly paid for by a real estate developer seeking a zoning variance. Prosecutors claim that Adams intervened directly in the zoning process, ensuring that the developer received the necessary approvals. The indictment also delves into the alleged scheme to solicit campaign contributions from foreign nationals. Prosecutors claim that Adams used his official trips abroad to meet with potential donors and solicit funds, often through intermediaries. The indictment includes bank records and receipts allegedly documenting these transactions. In the face of these serious allegations, Mayor Adams has steadfastly maintained his innocence, vehemently denying any wrongdoing. In a press conference held shortly after the indictment was unsealed, Adams categorically rejected the charges, calling them baseless and politically motivated. He portrayed himself as a victim of a witch hunt, orchestrated by his political enemies. Adams vowed to fight the charges vigorously and clear his name. Adams' legal team has issued a statement characterizing the indictment as a gross overreach by federal prosecutors. They argue that the allegations are based on flimsy evidence and the testimony of unreliable witnesses. Adams himself has taken to social media and public appearances to proclaim his innocence and rally support. He has urged his supporters to stand by him during this difficult time and to trust in the justice system. The indictment against Mayor Adams has sent shockwaves through New York City's political establishment, creating a climate of uncertainty. The allegations of corruption and abuse of power have cast a long shadow over City Hall. The scandal has fueled calls for Adams's resignation, with some political opponents and community leaders arguing that he can no longer effectively govern the city. Protests have erupted across the city, with demonstrators demanding Adams's removal from office. The pressure on Adams to step down is mounting and the calls for accountability are growing louder. The unfolding events have also raised concerns about the potential impact on the city's economy and its ability to attract investment. The legal battle facing Mayor Adams is likely to be long and complex, with the potential for multiple court appearances and extensive discovery proceedings. The outcome of the case remains uncertain, and the legal process could drag on for months, if not years. The mayor's legal team is preparing for a vigorous defense, while federal prosecutors are amassing their evidence. The next scheduled court appearance is set for October 26, 2024, where Adams will be formally arraigned and enter a plea. This initial hearing will set the stage for the subsequent legal proceedings, including the possibility of a trial. The outcome of the case will have profound implications not only for Adams's future, but also for the city of New York. The unfolding events will undoubtedly shape the city's political landscape for years to come, 
leaving a lasting impact on its governance and its future.